All right. If you told me that a show about a girl that is amazing at chess was would be one of the best things that come out of that would come out of 2020. I would tell you you are absolutely freaking crazy because I have no interest in chess. I have absolutely zero interest in chess. This this TV show is based off of a book and to be honest, I mostly watch movies because books are just movies with pages and they're boring to me unless they're comic books. Now, if you told me Anya Taylor Joy was going to be in this, then you have piqued my interest because if it's something she picked to be in, surely it's worth something, right? Yes. The Queen's Gambit and Netflix original series is one of the best TV shows I've ever seen in my life. It is riveting. It's everything. It's it's it's. it's it's an experience. It is every single thing you have heard about it and more. Um, it's exciting. Um, and today we are going to be discussing that for a bit today. Um, so let's start it off. Uh, Anya Taylor Joy is incredible as as Beth. Um, man, just absolutely killing it. Um, she, the emotion is there, um, you know, she carries that, that weight that, that Beth Harmon is, is, you know, supposed to, to carry, because I, I did read up some on it on the internet about, you know, the Queen's Gambit, and damn, she has handled it extremely well, um, you know, whether she's eight, you know, whether, whether Beth is eight years old or twenty years old, she's incredible at chess, um, and Anya Taylor-Joy sells every single minute of it, you know, even when she's, you know, not, <laughs> you know, when, when, when the little girl was acting for her when she was eight, that was fantastic as well, because we get a lot of that, we get a lot of her backstory, I think, like, the first two episodes, um, are, are her backstory, I don't think we even get Anya Taylor-Joy, um, you know, fully, um, until, like, the end of episode two, or maybe the start of episode three, um, and I loved it because we got to see this 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 girl go through so many highs and lows in her life, um, you know, at the 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 boarding school, the orphanage, because um, her mom is pretty much drug crazy. She kills herself um, in a car accident. She I guess was meaning to take Beth with her, but she failed. So Beth Harmon is on her own now. And damn, the orphanage that she went to. I felt like it was very well done. You wanted to dislike a lot of the people there, um, except for Mr. Scheibel, of course, because Mr. Scheibel is the janitor that ends up introducing Beth to Chess, and uh, he is he is one of the best parts of the, uh, the first two episodes. He's a great part of that. Um, so let's talk about the ending of the first episode. So um, Beth gets obsessed with these these green pills um you know that they were handing out to the kids and she basically wants to get the entire jar and she gets she she stuffs a whole bunch of them in her mouth you know like consumes them at an alarming rate kind of like like that one scene of uh of Taron Edgerton from Rocket Man um before he dives into the pool to sing Rocket Man that scene <laughs> this is exactly what happens here uh, almost, almost to a T, uh, is what ha is how it happens. Cause she takes the, takes the pills and then she tries to take the entire thing full of them. Um, and she gets caught by the headmistress and she, she, she's like, Mama, and then passes out and that is the end of the first episode. I was like, what? Now that is different and I love different. Um, and Anya Taylor Joy has been in some amazing films. Uh, she had, she was in Split, um, of course, The Witch. She's going to be in uh, in Last Night in Soho, um, which is an Edgar Wright film, which I'm ex incredibly excited for that because, of course, Edgar Wright is um, the same person behind. Um, oh my gosh, he's done a lot of great work, but 
honestly, I, I, I can't wait for that. She, he's also, um, he's done, you know, movies such as, like, Baby Driver, um, Shaun of the Dead, of course. <laughs> um, I don't know why it took me so long to think of it. But, uh, anyway. And then she was in The New Mutants, and, you know, I give New Mutants a lot of crap. Um, it's going to be on Media Dumpster. I never did a movie review on it because I didn't think it would be worth one. Um, and, and it, it was it just, nah. But Anya Taylor-Joy was my favorite part of that. I would rather, I would, I would really want to watch uh, a movie just, just all about, um, you know, her character from that. Because Anya Taylor-Joy gives you that, that awesome, like, chill vibe, like, that very emotional vibe, um, like she brought to The Witch. Of course, with her, her terrifying uh, reactions to some things in that film, of course. But uh, in this, she just plays the character off so, so well. Uh, it's, it's, it's really well done. Um, so she meets a whole bunch of characters along the way. Of course, she beats this one kid. Uh, he's supposedly the best um, at, their, uh, at this, this chess school <laughs> um but she beats him she beats him and he becomes a friend later down the online um helps her out even helps her out with the final uh the big the big game the the one for all the marbles um she gets adopted um after a while and the dad is very neglective and he actually leaves but the mom um starts off as just kind of like a drunk and she doesn't really care a whole lot about what's happening in life. But man, she, she just gets more and more likable with each episode. Um, and I was so sad to, uh, to see her go the way she did. Because, man, I did not even give you guys a spoiler warning. I'm sorry. <laughs> From now on, there, there will be spoilers in this video for, for this, this season. So if you haven't seen this season of Queen's Gambit, you need to watch it. Seriously, go watch it. Drop everything and watch it. Watch it now. Watch it later. Watch it whenever you want. Just watch it. Just watch it already. Thank you. Anyway. Um, she also has a few love interests. Um, but of course Beth is, is far too occupied with chess to worry about some dude. Because that's what I love about her character. She is, she is devoted to chess like I have never seen anyone devoted to anything in their life. And I love it. Um, it really sells that determination of the character. Um, my friend has been telling me to watch the show. He was like, you absolutely need to watch it. Um, and he knows that I, I am a fan of Anya Taylor-Joy because I love her work. Um, and man, I'm just glad I checked it out. Because every, I mean, everyone is fantastic in this. Just Anya Taylor-Joy steals the show because she is the show. She is Beth. Uh, we get multiple flashbacks, you know, with Beth as a child uh, with her mom. And the mom is, you know, very... Very, not, not crazy. Well, sometimes she was crazy. She just seemed a very off from the drugs, you know, I assume. But, uh, you know, we can't help that. But, yeah, man, uh, Beth just goes through a whole lot of things in life. Uh, she, she's really attached to those pills. Um, she's taking them, like, I'm pretty sure down to, like, the very last episode, she's still taking them. Um, until she, you know, decides to, to man up a little bit. But, uh, and she loves to drink. Um, it's a very, it, it really is, um, the story of, of, of Elton John and Rocket Man only with chess. Um, and I love that idea. Um, of course only, you know, Rocket Man actually happened, you know, Queen's Gambit. Well, no, I think, I believe Queen's Gambit is based off of a true story. Um, I, I actually don't know. But, um, hmm, I wonder, is Queen's Gambit a true story? Yeah, it's all fictional. I, j I just looked it up just now. It is all fictional, but hey, it is awesome, awesome, awesome. And, uh, seriously, guys, go watch this show. I can't say it enough. Uh, the music is fantastic. We get a bunch of piano, uh, very classical music, which is why I know my friend, um, Noah appreciated that, if you guys remember Noah from some videos I used to do way back in the day. Um, but
but yeah, the music was great. The shots are awesome. I, I'll, I'll throw in a few here. There are some awesome shots um, that you'll see in this video that I, I just love. Um, just the overall feel, the atmosphere, the the world building. Because of course, this is this isn't modern day. This is you know um, very very old. Not like very old timing. Uh, not a very old old timey story. But, um, it's definitely not modern. Um, it is, I believe, it's from, like, 19, the 1950s to the 1960s. Um, so, it's very, um, it's very cool to see the sort of shift in, uh, in, in the, the way that the world is looking at Beth and the way that, you know, things are happening with chess. Um, because, like I said... Before this, I, I just never had an interest in chess. And I mean, I still don't have an interest in chess, but I gotta say, I give it to people that are actually, you know, uh, 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 you know, addicted to this, and not addicted, but committed to this as much as, as Beth is in this show. Um, I really hope those people are out there, because you guys are going places. Um, but man, I just really, really, really love this show. Um, the end, the finale, I was jumping up and down, just chanting, yes, 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 you know, when she won uh, against the Russian, of course. Um, I liked a lot of the side characters, like I said, the mom, uh, Mr. Scheibel, um, Jolene, which was Beth's, uh, you know, um, orphanage friend that comes back later on in the story. Um, there was, I believe his name was, oh my gosh, what was his name, Benny, oh my gosh, Benny, he was great, Benny Watts. Um, he was a, he's basically like this chess prodigy that beats Beth. I, I believe she is, that's his first, that's her first loss. Um, her first, yeah, her first loss was to Benny, and then, um, of course, she, uh, she beat him in the end at speed chess, and then he, you know, starts helping her throughout the course of the, the, the season, and, uh, cheers her on till the very end. And there's also these two guys that sign her up at first to go into the the championships, um, which is great. And they kind of follow her around throughout the different episodes. Uh, and then, you know, you just get various friends here and there that pop up. And uh, it's great. It, it, we got a really good selection of characters, uh, a fantastic story, all melded together with a fantastic performance by Anya, Anya Taylor-Joy. Um, uh, a great collection of music. And, uh, just a, a truly, uh, truly visceral and, uh, and different Netflix show that I've seen. Um, do I like it more than Stranger Things? Well, that would be unfair. Because Stranger Things, of course, only has, like, has three seasons. This only has one. But, man, I really hope they make a second season because this is on par to beat Stranger Things. I gotta say, I love me some Millie Bobby Brown, some Finn Wolfhard, you know, some... <laughs> Some, you know, um, David Harbour, all of those guys, but damn, Anya Taylor-Joy just kills it in this role. But that's it for this video, guys, and I hope you guys um, enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.